We have evolved from a small operation in, in Bahamas to become one of the most significant telecommunications companies across the Latin American and Caribbean markets. In the Caribbean alone, our footprint now spans eight countries, from Trinidad in the south to Jamaica in the north, and in between our two largest operations, Barbados, Grenada, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, St. Lucia, Antigua and Barbuda, and of course we also have our Curacao operation in the Netherlands Antilles. As a company, we are proud of our significant accomplishments and the strides that we have made. We now serve over 650,000 customers daily through 2,700 employees across the region. Through our joint venture with Cable and Wireless, our parent company has widened our footprint from 27 countries to 42 countries across the Caribbean and Latin American region. Earlier this year, we announced the acquisition of Palmatel, which owns an extensive fiber optic network in Colombia, making this our largest acquisition to date. Columbus Networks, the subsidiary of Columbus International, was awarded Best Caribbean Wholesale Carrier at the 2013 Global Carrier Awards presentations. And we are one of six companies in the world, and, only, and the only one in the region, certified as a SIP trunk provider for Microsoft Link to our business customers, and we're very, very proud of that fact. Uh, the, a report issued by the ITU, the International Telecommunications Union, last year, ranked Barbados as the third most dynamic country in the Americas in terms of ICT development. I'm sure the Minister is very happy with that. Um, and with a ranking of 29th globally out of 157 countries assessed for the period, this is between 2012 and 2013. This was actually an improvement of seven places from the previous assessment, which was 2011 to 2012. This report clearly demonstrates that Barbados is on the right track to providing a solid ICT framework, which is critical for the social and economic development and growth of any economy. This is yet another powerful weapon in the armory to strongly position Barbados as a lucrative investment opportunity for foreign companies. Um, in Barbados alone, in Columbus, we're going to be investing in excess of $140 million in building a cutting-edge network that rivals anything else in the world. A huge chunk of that investment to date has been spent um, on building out the network, but also a significant portion on our new home, which some of you will know as the Orange Mall, but may have a different name later this year. Um, this building, when it's operational, will house our operations departments, our admin, and our retail and we anticipate that our move there will be completed by the middle, to, or sorry, by the end of this year. Um, in less than a year, the Barbados market was able to access super fast and reliable internet service with maximum internet download speeds increasing from, well, before we came here, it was two megs was the maximum we can get over a year ago. Then it went to eight megs. When we came, our top speed was 100 megs. Then we upped to 150 megs. And as John alluded to earlier on, as of 1st of May, we are launching 300. We as a government recognize the importance of growing and diversifying this Barbados economy. And you know, I keep saying all the time that so often, almost every waking moment, we are bombarded with some of the most negative news in this country as though there's nothing good happening in Barbados. I'm sure that we heard tonight some very good news in terms of a company that has been able to grow from strength to strength over the last year, hiring more Barbadians and adding more and more to the investment portfolio here in the Island, and certainly making a commitment to expand their workforce and their range of services uh, going forward. But the government certainly recognizes that we have to continue to diversify this economy. And one area that we recognize will help us to do that is access to the best possible telecommunication services available. And therefore, it's a great joy this evening that I heard Columbus announced that 300 miles is going to be the minimum standard across the island.